All right, so much excitement. Come to see. And close your eyes. And breathe. Find the length of your spine. All right, so sense the sitting bones and then grow long from there. Release the belly. Drop the shoulders. Nice. And then open the eyes. Drop the chin down to the chest. Open up the back of the neck. And some gentle rolls of the head from side to side. And taking it around. That's good for you. Nice. Come back to center. Sweep the arms up with a big inhale. Reach with the fingertips. And then right hand behind you, left hand to the knee. Sit tall and twist. In your twist, take an inhale and lengthen the spine. And then exhale and turn a little more. Nice, leave the left hand where it is. Cross the right arm over as you come through center. Come into eagle arms, pressing the hands together. And then release the arms, sweep up, reach. And then left hand behind you, right hand to the knee, sit tall and twist. And staying in your twist, inhale and lengthen the spine, press down with the hand and back. And then exhale, turn a little more. Nice. Come through center and walk the hands out in front. Just a little bit of a forward fold, let the head and neck go. Nice, walk the hands back, roll onto hands and knees. Come into cow, tip the tailbone up, roll the shoulders back, draw the chest through. And then into cat, hollow the belly round the back, push the floor away, puff up in between the shoulder blades. And again, back into a cow. It just feels like what you're doing here is moving your spine. And then again, back into a cat. But really what you're doing is moving the pelvis and the spine just kind of follows along with it. And again, back into a cow. And a cat. Nice. Come through neutral, curl the toes under, press back into a downward facing dog. And take a deep bend of the right knee, come onto the ball of the right foot. Press the left heel to or towards the floor and lengthen the spine. And then switch, deep bend of the left knee, come onto the ball of the foot, sink the right heel down. And then two straight legs. Actually, for a moment, bend both knees and lengthen the spine. 
Find the full length of the spine, which is easy to do with the knees bent. You're not also trying to lengthen the hamstrings here. And then see if you can keep that length of the spine as you sink the heels down and straighten the legs. And then inhale into a plank. And exhale back into a dog. And again, inhale into a plank. And exhale back into a dog. One more time, inhale into a plank. And exhale back into a dog. Raise the right leg in a three-legged dog. Keep the hips level so that if you look back, you see the toes facing down. And in this shape, raise that right leg even higher. And lengthen the spine. Find your breath. Shift into a plank. Hold it there for a moment. And back into a three-legged dog. Then roll the right hip open and lengthen. Keep the leg straight. Take a look at that left knee. When you roll the right hip open, that sometimes that left knee wants to turn in a little bit. Keep it facing forward. Same thing as you bend that right knee and roll the hip open, right? That left leg still thinks it's doing downward facing dog. Nice, straighten the leg and lower it back down. Take a breath, actually in between, let's drop the knees down just a moment and come into a half dog. Slide the arms out in front, melt the chest down, rest the forehead. Take a breath. And then walk the hands back and press back into downward facing dog. Left leg up, three legged dog. And again, right, hips are level. So you look back, that left foot faces down. And in this shape, raise that left leg higher and press the floor away more. And then roll that left hip open. Leg is straight. Bend the left knee and turn. Nice, back into dog pose. Take a breath. Walk the feet up to the hands. And then with the feet hip distance apart, start with the hands on the shins for a moment and lengthen the spine out. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. And then <clears throat> bending that left knee deeply and keeping that left foot flat on the mat, set the left hand down in the center. Bring the right hand into that right hip crease. Roll that right hip crease up and back. Turn the chest to the right. Right arm raises up. If that floor feels too far away for that left hand, put something under it. A block, a book, a box, something that raises it up. Take a breath. Nice. Come back to center and just for a moment, both hands on the shins, lengthening the spine out again. And then a deep bend of the right knee. Right fingertips down in the center. Left hand into that left hip crease, lengthen the spine to start. Pull that left hip up and back. Turn from the belly, left arm up. Nice. One more breath. Come back through center. Heel toe the feet together. And sweep up with an inhale. And dive down with an exhale. 
Halfway up, inhale, hands to shins, lengthen the spine. And exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up, reach with the fingertips. Exhale, hands to heart. And again, inhale, sweep up. Exhale, fold. Halfway up, inhale. And exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Again, sweep up with an inhale. Dive down with an exhale. Step the right foot back, bring the right knee down. Start with both hands on that left thigh. And then bring the arms into a goal post shape. And with an inhale, draw them back just a little bit. And exhale, draw the forearms together. And again, inhale, open it up. And exhale, pinkies together. Once more, inhale, open it up. Exhale, pinkies together. Come back to goal post shape for a moment. And then raise the arms up and reach. Nice hands down plank. Come all the way down to the floor. Come into Sphinx, elbows under the shoulders, fingertips out. Pull on the floor a little bit. Come into a forearm plank. And again, in this forearm plank, draw the tailbone down towards the feet a little bit. So it'll take a little bit of rounding out of the low back. It'll draw the belly in a little bit. That's okay, that's what we want here for a moment. Breathe. Knees down, Sphinx. Hands alongside the chest. Press up into a downward facing dog. Float the right leg up. Roll the hip open, keep the leg straight. Drop the left forearm down and turn. One more breath. Press back into three-legged dog. And lower the right leg down. Take an inhale. Bend the knees and exhale. Step or hop to the top of the mat. And sweep up with an inhale. Dive down. Plant the hands, left foot back. Left knee down. Right, both hands onto that right thigh. And then bring your arms into that goal post shape again. And with an inhale, draw them back a little bit. And exhale, forearms together. Again, in, inhale, open. And exhale, close. Again, inhale, open. And exhale, close. Open them up to goalposts and just keep them there for a moment. Press down with the feet and then reach up with the arms. Hands down, plank. Come all the way down into Sphinx. And then forearm plank. Spread the shoulder blades so you're not dipping down in between the shoulder blades. Mm 
One more breath. Knees down, sphinx. Again, pull on the floor a little bit towards you. All right, it's not a big range of motion, but really nice back bend for the upper back. And then down, downward facing dog. Left leg up, keep it straight, roll the hip open, push the floor away and sink that right forearm down. Leave that left leg lifted, press back into a three-legged dog, and lower that left foot down. One more breath. Nice, step or hop to the top of the mat, and sweep up with a nice inhale. And exhale, forward fold. Plant the hand, right foot back, right knee down. Interlace the fingers in front and push away from you. And then bring it up and as if you could push the ceiling up. Feet press down and pull in towards each other. One more breath. Release the arms and clasp them behind you. Open up the chest. For a little bit more intensity, you can bring the heels of the hands together. Depends on how your shoulders feel today. Nice. Palms together in front, right elbow over left thigh and turn. And just as we did when we started and we warmed up, take an inhale and lengthen the spine. Just get longer. And then with an exhale, twist a little more. Nice. Hands down. Plank. Come all the way down to the floor. Locust, palms face each other. Big toes touch. You won't go very high up, that's okay. Look for length, and what you're doing here really is building strength in the upper back and the mid back. One more breath. Nice, lower back down. Hands alongside the chest, cobra, any size. Nice. And down. Downward facing dog. Find your breath. Take a deep bend of the right knee. Come onto the ball of the foot on the right side. Pivot the left heel into center. Press the hips back and turn to the left. Nice, come back into dog pose. Take a breath here. Step or hop to the top of the mat and sweep up. Dive down, plant the hands, left foot back, left knee down, interlace the fingers and push out. And then bring it up and lengthen. Use the feet, press down with them. Pull them towards each other. Release the hands and clasp them behind you. And then draw the palms together and take a little twist. 
Left elbow, cross right thigh, turn. Hands down, plank. And again, all the way to the floor, locust. Fly the arms back. Big toes touch. Back of the neck long. Right? It's not an exciting pose, not a huge range of motion pose, but really, really valuable in terms of Strengthening the back and down. Hands alongside the chest. Cobra. And down. Downward facing dog. Take a deep bend of the left knee, come onto the ball of the foot, and then pivot the right heel into center. Press the floor away and turn. Back to dog pose. Right leg up, roll the hip open, press the floor away, bend the knee and turn. And then big step forward with that right foot into a lunge, left leg stays straight. Draw the chest forward, lengthen that back leg, sink that right thigh down. Keep the left hand down, twist to the right, right arm up. Right, when you do this, that back leg wants to get a little wimpy. Press it up. One more breath here. Nice. Bring that right hand down, come back into your lunge. And then wiggle that right foot off to the side. Nice. Drop that left knee down. Bring the left forearm to the floor. If that's not available, put it on a block or just stay on the hand. That's okay. Perfectly fine. Let that right leg roll out to the right, onto the pinky toe side, right? So the big toe side of the foot lifts up. Use the right hand, just a little bit of gentle encouragement. And if this feels fine for you, take a moment and walk that right foot a little further forward and a little further out to the right. Just a little bit of more sensation. Roll the chest to the right. And then bend that left knee, right hand, pinky toe side of the foot. Press the foot away from you, roll the chest open. Let that right leg roll out and breathe. Take a couple of big breaths here, actually. Nice. Bring that right foot back down. Walk the hand around to the big toe side. Turn the chest forward and draw the foot in. Again, too much sensation. Just come up onto the hand on the left side. Nice. Release the foot. Bring the right forearm down in front as well. Spend a moment here with the leg on the ground. And then furl the back toes under and straighten the leg. Walk the hands back. 
Step back from downward facing dog. Left leg up, roll the hip open and bend the knee. And then big step forward with that left foot into a lunge. And again, sink the left thigh down. I liked my lunges long, so I kind of wiggle that back foot back a little more. You might like that too. And then sink that left thigh down, press the right thigh up, draw the chest through. Right hand stays down, twist to the left, reach up with that left arm. Left hand down. Heel toe that left foot off to the left. Bring both hands inside for a moment. Drop the right knee down. Right forearm comes down. Again, make whatever adjustments you need for your body. And then allow that left thigh to roll out and the foot can roll to the pinky toe side and use that left hand a little bit. And then again, if this doesn't feel enough, you could just bring the leg, that foot just a little wider off to the left, maybe a smidge forward. And then bend that right knee, pinky toe side of the foot. Push it away from you. Roll the chest to the left. Let the head come back a little. Release it. Nice. That's pretty awesome that you can do any variation of this, right? There's nothing in your typical daily environment that puts you in this position, which is why it can feel you can be a lot of sensation and also feel really good at the same time. Walk the hand around to the big toe side, draw the foot in, turn the chest forward. And then release the foot, bring that left hand, left forearm down as well so that they're parallel. Spend a moment here with that right leg down and then furl the back toes under and straighten the leg. Spread the shoulder blades. Easy to spread the shoulder blades with the forearms on the floor. Push down with the forearms and widen the shoulder blades. Nice. Drop that right knee. Hands back, downward facing dog. Take a breath here. Bend the knees, look forward, step or hop to the top of the mat. Sweep up. Dive down. Bend the knees, Utkatasana, chair pose. Nice, palms together. Thumbs at heart center. Sit a little deeper. Left elbow over right thigh, turn. One more breath. Back into Utkatasana, come through. Raise the arms, sink the hips, open the chest. Straight arms, palms together. Thumbs at heart center, right elbow over left thigh, twist. Notice your breath. Back to Utkatasana. Palms together, thumbs at heart center. Little change, changing it up a little here. Continue to squat, take it into a squat. 
and sit back into a little modified boat. Nice cross at the ankles, roll over, downward facing dog. Step or hop to the top of the mat, sweep up. Dive down, plant the hands, right foot back, right knee down, both arms up, reach. Palms together, thumbs at heart center. Right elbow over, left thigh turn, twist. Curl the back toes under, straighten the leg. Notice your breath. Spin it into a high lunge, thumbs at heart center. Warrior three, hands at the heart. Extend the chest forward. Imagine you were doing locust. Use the strength of your back. Both hands down, standing split. One more breath. Bring both hands in front. Step the right foot back. Come into a high lunge, sweep the arms up. Hands down, down dog first. And then chaturanga, up dog, and downward facing dog. Step or hop to the top of the mat. Oops, and sweep up. Kind of overshot my jump there. Dive down. Plant the hands, left foot back, left knee down. Sweep the arms up. Palms together, thumbs at heart center, twist. Left elbow over right thigh, turn. Nice, furl the back toes under, straighten leg. Spin it up into a high lunge, thumbs at heart center. Warrior three, hands at the heart. Standing split. One more breath here. Bring both hands in front. Step that left foot back, coming into a lunge. Stabilize yourself here for a moment. And then sweep the arms up into a high lunge. Hands down. Downward, downward facing dog just for a moment. Shift into plank and chaturanga. 
Upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Shorten your dog up just a little bit. Take a deep bend of the right knee, come onto the ball of the foot. Look at that left leg, pivot the left heel into center. Left leg nice and straight. Press the floor away, use that left arm, use the ball of that right foot, right hand outside of the left shin or ankle, turn. Bring the right hand back, straighten that left leg, take a breath. Deep bend of the left knee. Right leg is straight, right heel pivots in, both arms push away for a moment. Right hip pulls up and back. And then with that right hand pushing the floor away and the left foot pressing down, Release that left arm up so it can cross through and hold on and turn. This is one of those poses that for many people just becomes a favorite. Just feels so much opening. Back into dog pose. Bend the knees, step or hop to the top of the mat, and come up into Utkatasana again. Palms together, sink the hips down, sink, sink, sink. And this time your choice, either palms together as you twist or bring the right hand to the left thigh, hook that left elbow over, straighten the arms so that the fingertips come to the Floor, right arm up and twist. Hard pose to breathe in. Do your best. You won't get into the belly. Breathe into the chest. Nice. Come back into Utkatasana. Reach up. Same thing as you twist, either palms together and turn or start by bringing the left hand to that left thigh, give you some leverage, sinking that right arm down, left arm up. Back to Utkatasana. Stand into the legs, press up and reach. Drop the arms down by your side in mountain pose just for a moment. Right, a lot of output there. Find your breath. Another breath or two here. Nice. Sweep the arms up and inhale. Dive down with an exhale. Plant the hands, right foot back, right heel pivots in. Fly the arms back alongside you. Right again, sort of like that locust shape. Use the back muscles. Nice. With an inhale, warrior one, sweep it up. Clasp the hands behind you, turn the chest forward, and forward fold. Let the head and neck go. Nice. Come up halfway, release the arms and fly them back. 
pivot on that back foot and come into warrior three, arms flying back. Left hand down, half moon, roll that right hip open. Reach that right arm up. Raise that right leg, turn the hip. And breathe. Right hand down, square the hips. Step back into a high crescent lunge, sweep the arms up. Hands down, chaturanga, don't rush it. Upward facing dog, pull the mat. Downward facing dog, and breath. Step or hop to the top of the mat and sweep up, smidge of a back bend up here. Dive down, plant the hands, left foot back, left heel in, stay there for a moment, pulling that right hip back, deepening that right hip crease, turning the chest forward, and then fly the arms back alongside you. And with an inhale, warrior one, Clasp the hands behind you, turn the chest forward, reach back, and forward fold. Let the head and neck go. Nice. Come up halfway, release the arms, palms face towards each other again. Pivot on that back heel and take it back into warrior three, arms flying back. Right hand down, half moon. Roll that left hip open, raise that left arm. Left hand down, square the hips. Take a breath here. Step back into a high crescent lunge. Hands down. Chaturanga. Up dog. And downward facing dog. Find your breath. Walk the hands back to the feet. Wiggle the feet together. Come into a squat, the knees are wide. Some of you'll have the whole feet on the floor. For some of you, that might be mu too much and you're just on the, the ball of the foot. That's okay. Just malasana, garland pose. For just a moment, draw the arms deeper and deeper down. And then cross the arms, hold the opposite shin, drop the head for a moment. Nice, bring the hands out in front. Come on to the tippy toes. And just for a moment, crow pose, bakasana. Nice, and back down. Come back into dog pose. Right leg up. 
Roll the hip open, bend the knee and turn. And then right chin forward, pigeon. First phase of pigeon, hands 45 degrees out in front of you, almost like a downward facing dog arm. So arms are active, right shin is active, pressing down. <clears throat> right hip crease pulls back, chest draws forward. And then both hands gonna walk over to the left. That left hand will come into the arch of that right foot. It's gonna push it. They're pushing against each other. That right arm walks out at a diagonal and you sink down. Nice. Walk the hand back. Face forward and relax into it. Nice, walk the hands back, roll onto that right sitting bone, swing the left leg around and your choice, either parallel the thighs to each other, um, not the thighs, <laughs> that would be hard, the shins, <clears throat> or stack that left shin on top of the right. Your choice, fingertips face back, find the length of the spine. And then if this is plenty, stay here. Otherwise, take it into a bit more of a forward fold. You know, if that's a welcome sensation for you. One more breath. Really nice, walk it back up. Bring the hands behind you, just pause for a moment, close the eyes. Sometimes we, you know, transition so quickly that we don't allow kind of the feeling of that pose to resonate for a moment. And then unwind the legs, step back into downward facing dog. Left leg up, roll the hip open, bend the knee, turn. And then left shin forward, pigeon. And again, starting in that first phase with almost a sense of downward facing dog arms. It's kind of a nice 45 degree angle here on the arms. And then walk the hands over to the right. And then that right hand is gonna come into the arch of that left foot. And that left arm is just gonna slide, walk all the way out. And maybe the forehead comes down, maybe it comes to the floor, maybe not, it's fine. Wherever you are with it. Nice. 
walk that left hand back, bring both arms in front, and settle down into it for a few breaths. Walk the hands back, sit up, roll onto that left sitting bone, same two choices, shins parallel or stacked, fingertips face back behind you, find the length of the spine. All right, this may feel like plenty. Stay there or come into a forward fold. So funny, it always um, never fails to register with me, you know, that it's really how you frame up that sensation, right? So for me, I'm going as far down as I need to to feel something. And I welcome that, right? People that maybe are not quite used to this practice, they, when they feel something, they think something's wrong. <laughs> it, it's tight or it's, you know, whatever. But, right, ideally you want to feel some sensation. Breathe. Right, and sensation is not pain. Pain is, you definitely want to avoid pain. Walk it back up. Stretch both legs out in front. Staff pose. And then Paschimottanasana, forward facing fold. So I like to kind of take my hands and kind of roll the flesh away a little bit, so I have like better contact with the sitting bones. Lengthen the spine, any degree of a forward fold for you. Another couple of breaths. And then slowly bring it back up. Pause for just a moment. Nice. Bend the knees. Roll back down onto your back. Come into a nice, simple bridge pose. If you can snuggle the shoulders under you, do that. Stand into the feet. And if everything that's touching the mat presses down, then it actually releases some tension and, and stretches out the front of the body. The front of the body is not really working hard here. What's working is the back body. The hamstrings, the glutes, the back, the upper arms, right? But the whole midsection on the front is in a position to open up here. It's not really doing much work. And then release and slowly roll down. Nice. Stretch the left leg out in front. 
And then the right knee is bent, just stand the right foot on top of that left thigh. And with that, give a little roll over to the left. And the foot might slide off, that's okay. In fact, you can let it slide off. And then that right arm can reach out to the side. And I like to take mine overhead, fingertips down. Just take a breath here. One more breath. Slowly back to center. Nice. Stretch that right look at right leg out in front. Just bring that left foot on top of the right thigh and then just roll to the right. You can bring the right hand onto that left thigh as it rolls. And again, that left arm in any shape that feels good for you, I like to stretch it overhead, fingertips down. One more breath. and slowly roll back. Shift the hips back into center in case they've moved around a little bit. Hug the knees into the chest. And just a little 60 second Shavasana. You're always free to stay longer. You're, if you're at home and you have time, by all means. And for those of you that don't love Shavasana, well, this is a nice little abbreviated version that you can live with. Stretch out, release all muscular engagement. Feel the heaviness of that easy body on the floor. a few deep breaths register the sensation of being in your body feel as if you could breathe into your whole body and then draw the knees into the chest Roll onto your side and press yourself up. A nice, easy seated position. Close the eyes. Draw the palms together, thumbs at heart center. 
Give a little bow of your head to your heart. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Thanks so much for practicing. Um, I won't, if you're practicing live with me, I won't be here next Sunday live, but I will be back the following Sunday. So I hope I see you then and take good care of yourselves. And again, thanks for practicing.